Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Carnes High School, where tonight our Scott Highlanders are on the road to take on the 4A opponent, Carnes Lady Beavers and Beavers. First game tonight will be between the Lady Beavers and our home team, our visiting Lady Highlanders. The Carnes Lady Beavers have a 10 win, 15 loss record. The Lady Highlanders have a 12 win, 15 record. 15 loss record, and the Lady Highlanders have now won seven out of their last eight games, or eight out of their last nine games. I lost track of that. Highlanders coached by Jake Wright, assisted by Morgan Boyd and Emily Markham. And the Carnes Beavers, they're coached by Kylie Haywood. And now we get the starting lineup for our Lady Highlanders tonight. Number 11, one of the two Highlanders seniors, Julie Lou Allen. Number 12, a junior, that is Jalen Young. Number 15, sophomore, Julie Lawson. Number 23 is Brittany Morrow. Brittany is a freshman. And the final starter, the other Highlander senior, number 32, that's Elena Duncan. The last time these two teams played was one week ago, or last, or from tonight. It was at Highlander Gym. The Lady Highlanders won 57 45. And now the starting lineup for the Carnes Lady Beavers. Number three is Abby Harris. Number 11 is Reese Roberts. Number 15 is Javania Pendergrass. Number 50 is Bree Nicely. Number three is Madison Perrin. Perrin had 12 points against the Lady Highlanders last week. She was the leading scorer for the Carnes Lady Beavers. Lady Highlander basketball, the Lady Highlanders in their red travel uniforms. Their basket here in the first half to our left. You're following Highlander basketball tonight on the IH Sports Network. IHSports.net is a place to go to follow this. And uh, this is an audio-only stream tonight. Uh, but you will be able to watch a delayed video replay of tonight's game starting tomorrow. So go to IHSports.net. I'm Rick Keaton along with uh, Woody Keaton. He's got my stats and analysis throughout the course of the evening. Lady Highlanders once again getting ready, going for their second win over Carnes this season as the tip is controlled by the Lady Highlanders. And Jalen Young will push it up the court. Kicks it on the right wing to Julie Lou Allen. Back to Young. Over to Lawson. Julie Lawson now gives it up to Young. Young back to Lawson. She has an opening. Shoots the three. Rebound off the backside is deflected out of bounds, and yes, the Lady Beavers touch it last. It is Lady Highlander basketball. Baseline extended all the way out to the right front corner. Lou Allen to trigger in, lobs outside to Young. Over to Lawson, back to Young. Lobs over to Lou Allen, quick pass goes in to Duncan. Had it stripped away, recovers the ball, shoots it back to Lawson. Her three is up, too long. The rebound pulled down by Carnes. This is Breed nicely with the basketball. I'm sorry, it wasn't nicely. It was Reese Roberts with the basketball. Again, Carnes will run. Right now, they're running a five-high offense. Last week, we saw them run a lot of four-one high. The ball comes back outside, holding it there as Roberts once again inside the post. That was nicely. Her shot was no good. She gets the rebound. The jumper outside. Roberts, no good. The rebound, and then there's a foul. Two Lady Highlanders are there. Let's see who the foul is called on. 32, senior Elena Duncan. First team first. At the line, Javania Pendergrass to shoot a pair of free throws. The first one is no good. And now for her second opportunity. Pendergrass throws it up, and this one settles in the net for her. The early lead goes to Carnes, 1-0. Highlander basketball. Young inside to Duncan, up off the glass. Shot won't go. Ball's tipped around, controlled by Carnes. Racing up the court, Reese Roberts. Roberts lobs it high off the glass. It won't go. Lawson controls the board for the Highlanders. Mora up the right side. Brittany reverses, steps inside, over to Lawson. She loads the three again, and it's just off the mark. Another rebound for Carnes. The ball given up 
to Madison Perrin. Perrin kicks it back in the right corner. The jumper from there, no good. Up fighting for the rebound. It's a tie up and the jump ball staying with Carnes. They'll inbound. From their right baseline. Looking first inside. Now a cutter up the right side. The, lo the shot up is no good. And we've got a foul over the back from Carnes. That'll be called on Abby Harris. Her first, team first. Trying to look around, find the clocks here, see which one I want to look at. Six and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. It's a one to nothing Carnes lead. Now Young splits the defense. Her layup comes up short. Lou Allen comes up with a ball. Quick pass goes inside to Young. It's batted around. And this takeaway by Carnes. Parent up the right side. They work it all the way to the left corner. Quick pass inside. Now a short throw up shot is no good. Inside, that was Harris with the ball. She kept it alive. The outside jumper, no good. Moore fighting for the rebound. Once again, over the back. No call, but uh, in terms of a foul, but it was last touched by Carnes. It's Lady Highlander basketball. And I believe that Carnes now playing a boxing one. Yep. The one on Brittany Morrow. The lob over to Lou Allen. Wants to drive back to Morrow from the foul line. Slices in. The ball comes back out to Duncan. 16-foot jumper is no good. And the Highlanders are about 0 for 6, I think. Yeah. We're one and done on offensive uh Lower side of it, uh, we don't have nobody down to rebound. The jumper off the baseline, that little half hook by Madison Perrin, the actual first field goal of the game. And Carnes has a three zip lead over our Lady Highlanders. Young into the front corner, Lawson pass on the shot. Highlanders reverse it back around. Lou Allen has it back to Lawson. Lawson will tie the three pointer again. Bang! The sophomore, Julie Lawson, her first made basket tonight, and we're all tied at three each. You can't, uh, if you miss, you still got to shoot. Still got to shoot it, and yes. that's yeah. about as many shots as we've ever seen. I think Judy shoot in a half so far, and she's done that in the first two minutes or three minutes of the game, but right. keep on firing, Judy. That, I think that's one of the reasons Coach Wright put her in the starting lineup was the ability to make threes. Now the steal going the other way, Jalen Young. Driving, the layup is no good. Fighting for it, Julie Lou Allen follows, gets the rebound, it's on the floor. Jump ball, this will stay with the Lady Highlanders. Sub in for Carnes as Ulysse Kennedy, number 20, comes into the game. She replaces Pendergrass. Lou Allen to inbound right baseline. The pass is short, tip backs outside to Duncan, now into Lou Allen, back out to Young, over to Lawson, her three, no good. Julie Allen, the rebound, too hard off the glass. It won't go in Carnes with another defensive rebound. Over on the right corner, the shot there, good. That was Reese Roberts. Carnes leading 6-3. The lob over to Lou Allen, back to Young from the top of the key, goes inside. The reverse back outside. Lou Allen's jumper is no good. And another one and done by the Highlanders. Racing the other way. This is Roberts. Shoots up and around Morrow. Couldn't get the shot to go. The Highlanders rebound. And Morrow with the outlet pass. Races up the right side. Goes against two defenders. Up off the glass. It won't go. And still Carnes has the defensive rebound. I think we had one offensive board in the yeah, first one, quarter. That one right there that uh, Lou Allen had. And this has on the offensive Board we had. Less than three and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. It's Carnes six, Lady Highlanders three. Carnes with the basketball. This is Perrin in the right corner. Back outside to Roberts. Roberts drives against two defenders. Shot up off the glass, won't go. The ball is tipped. Saved by Carnes. Now fighting for it on the floor. Jump ball called. It will stay with Carnes. Now Zoe Terry, the first sub for Coach Jake Wright and the Lady Highlanders into the game, replacing Julie Lou Allen. The Highlanders will go, well, they'll stay in the zone on the inbounds. The pass deflected, recovered, however, by Carnes. We missed an opportunity to get the ball back there. Yeah. Little driving jumper is no good. Chased down by Duncan. She has that defensive rebound. Lady Highlanders will leave it for Young. 
straight down the middle of the floor. Over to Terry on the left wing. Drove around the defender as she drives inside. There's going to be a foul. 50. Nicely. Second team foul against uh, Carnes. Terry to inbound. Outside it comes to Duncan. Over to Lawson. Her three rattles in and out. Carnes with the rebound once again. Carnes has a three-point lead. Two minutes, 25 seconds left in the first quarter. And this first quarter just absolutely flying by. <laughs> Pass inside. and looks like there's going to be a hole from behind on Helena Duncan. First second, team second. Now, Brianna Jeffers checking in for the Highlanders. She replaces Duncan with the two personal fouls. The Highlanders will go man-to-man -man on the inbounds. Carnes had some trouble getting the ball in. Now back in the right corner, that's Perrin. Perrin bounce pass into the paint. Harris had trouble with it, forces the jumper up, rolls off the front iron, no good. Ball's tipped. Mora comes up with it for the Lady Highlanders. One minute, 55 seconds left in the first quarter. Ahead, Lawson couldn't hold the pass along the left baseline. Sub for Carnes, checking back in is Pendergrass. She replaces Harris. Carnes basketball. One minute, 47 seconds to go in the first quarter. It's Carnes three, Lady Highland, I'm sorry, I'm sorry Carnes six, Lady Highlanders three. Up the right side. Perrin out of the corner. That's a big three by Madison Perrin. She had 12 points when we played a week ago. Eight to three. And we've got a foul. 15. In the grass. It's our first team third. Highland basketball. Baseline left side. Now Carnes sub in as Caitlin Friedrich. Or Friedrich. However you pronounce it. Checks in for Carnes. The ball in to Jalen Young. Young back to Terry in the corner. She starts to yeah, either A, fake the jump shot or drive. She turned it into a drive. She traveled with a basketball. Now Pendergrass back in the game. When Pendergrass comes in, she doesn't stay on the bench, but 15 seconds, I think, is her average. That's two or three times that uh, Coach Haywood has done that. Pairing with the basketball. Kicks it left. Frederick, Frederick with the ball, dribbles all the way on the right wing, quick pass inside, deflected by Jeffers, and there's going to be a travel violation. You thought there was going to be a foul call, didn't you? Yeah, well, I did it was. Too. I did too. It was, a, it was a lot of contact. Yep. Highlander basketball. We're down to the final 62 seconds of the first quarter. Young with the basketball, dribbles left, over to Lawson, her three-point try off the front iron, no good. Terry, the rebound. Hunters reset their offense. Mora needs help, gets the ball to Young from the top of the key. She swings it over to Terry. Down in the right corner, Mora with a pump fake. Her shot then partially blocked from the side. Coming down with it, Carnes. They'll set their offense, maybe look for the final shot. Madison Perrin. No, it wasn't Perrin. It's Reese Roberts with the ball. Gave it up, got it back into the middle. Pass was deflected by Young, and then Zoe Terry. Had and started up the court, and she draws the foul. And the grass is her second team fourth. Back in Harris for the Lady Beavers. Lady Highlanders have 24 seconds. Looking for a good shot here. Trailing nine to three to the home team Carnes Beavers. Morrow with that pump fake again needs help. Skip pass, it comes over to Lawson. Lawson needs help. Bounce pass to Jeffers. Jeffers inside. Quick pass. Mora's shot partially blocked again. It's tied up. Jump ball. Lady Highlands will have the possession with six and a half seconds remaining in the first quarter. The lob outside to Young. She'll launch the three. Shot is no good. Long rebound. Goes out of bounds. It will be Carnes' ball with 1.3 seconds remaining. I suggest the Lady Highlanders, and now Zoe Terry's going to do it as at least try to guard the ball at midcourt. The touch, that's Roberts, can't get the shot off. So after one quarter of play, it's the home team, Carnes Beavers leading our Scott Highlanders nine to three. 
Nine to three, our score. We'll step aside. We'll take this break, and we'll be back with second quarter action on the IH Sports Network. Welcome back as we'll begin the second quarter in the girls' game. It is the Lady Beavers of Carnes leading our Lady Highlanders 9-3. to three. And I want to say this, a really good crowd following the Lady Highlanders for Friday night basketball to Knoxville Carnes High School. And we've got one side full, and they don't, hardly, they don't have hardly nobody. Yep. <laughs> if it wasn't for our basketball team over there, it would be. <laughs> Pretty bad, would it? And now the Washam brothers have moved over to the other side. They must have decided it was too crowded on the Highlander side here. The inbound pass stolen by Jalen Young. She'll drive up the left side, tries to lob it over to Terry. Terry gets the ball, goes up, and scoring. That is Zoe Terry. The assist would be to Jalen Young. It is now a 9-5 to five basketball game. Carnes driving along the baseline. She just dribbled it out of bounds. Yes. The turnover by Carnes, that would have been Friedrich. Let's see, starting the second quarter for the Highlanders, Brianna Jeffers, Zoe Terry, Julie Lawson, Jalen Young, and Brittany Morrow. Carnes, they've decided to go to a 2-3 zone. Inside it goes to Jeffers. Soft turnaround jumper is no good. Rebound to Carnes. That's nicely who had the basketball. They clear it out to Roberts. Ahead, it's slowed down by Kennedy. The ball reverses back outside into Harris. Harris posting on the right edge of the baseline. The jumper up. It hits the guy wire above the basket, and it's a turnover. Possession going back to the Highlanders. If it didn't hit that wire, it would have been good. It might. It might have. Because <laughs> it was bouncing, going to bounce sort of back in toward the basket. Young with the basketball. Jalen splits the defenders, drives inside the running jumper. Rattle rolled around the glass. It was no good. And Brianna Jeffers, I'm pretty sure, yeah. will pick up the foul there. And the referees and I are sort of in tune tonight, Woody, okay. in terms of foul calls, aren't we? <laughs> so four. <laughs> with a basketball. Perrin lobs to Harris at the foul line. The pass is then deflected. Brianna Jeffers comes up with it. Highlanders with another take takeaway. And right now, defensively, we're doing wonderful. Yep. All we got to do is score. The ball comes back outside. Terry off the right wing. Her three is up. Shot no good. Rebound once again controlled by Carnes. We're underway in the second quarter of play. It's Carnes nine, Lady Highlanders five. Kennedy picks up her dribble over to Perrin. She'll try a three. It's no good. The ball off the hand of Jeffers on the floor. It comes back outside, fighting for the ball. Carnes will keep it alive, and they'll set up their offense. This will be Perrin to drive in. Rachel Garrett checked in on that last stop. It's a place for the Lady Highlanders, and she jumps out on the defender, Perrin, or on the offensive player, Perrin, forces the travel violation. Good effort. It was, was all over the floor. Good effort down there. If we just get something to fall in and uh, hit them boards hard, a little, bit, a little bit bigger than they are now. Brittany Moore drove to the left baseline. Shaw was no good. The rebound controlled by Jeffers and tied up by Carnes. The possession will stay with the Lady Highlanders. Baseline left side. Terry will inbound. The lob outside to Young over to Moore. 16-foot jumper off the right side is no good. Rebound Zoe Terry back outside to Young. Gives it up to Terry. She wants to drive. Toss it back to Mora. She drives from the right side. Her jumper off the glass, no good. Terry's got another defense or offensive rebound to Garrett. Garrett's shot is no good. Another offensive rebound, Highlanders. Brittany Mora will try a three. It comes up short. Fighting for the rebound. It's tied up. One official calls the jump. One calls the foul. Yeah, that's good. That's, Let's go with the that's jump. Good and good officiate. Only thing about that, it will be Carnes basketball. Well, these guys done good, man. Because he looked at the other one underneath that where it should have been, and he said jump ball, so he changed his call. It's good. Carnes with a four-point lead. They have the basketball on the defense, trying to get another takeaway. They force – that's not they, but Jalen Young forces a dribble, and Coach Kylie Haywood takes a timeout for Carnes. Let's join the teams during this break. Carnes nine, Lady Highlanders five. We'll be back right after this – 30-second com commercial message. The timeout by Carnes. They come back 
from the timeout. It's their ball in the front court. This is nicely outside. Kicks it over to Perrin. And Jalen Young almost had the steal, but the official says, yep, yeah, you might have reached in and hacked her. It's her first, team fourth. Carnes ball right down in front of her broadcast position as number 50 nicely will inbound the ball. Got it back, and the pass deflected by Young. Good hands. Four minutes, 55 seconds left in the first half. The pass to Harris, posting against Harris, uh, Garrett. She wow. went up and high bank off the glass by Abby Harris, and somehow she got smacked in the face, maybe a poke to the eye. She is all right. Coach Kennedy, or excuse me, Coach Haywood is actually going to sub for her. It's now Carnes 11, Lady Highlanders 5. We've scored one basket here in the second quarter. And Woody and I were talking during the last break we had. We have taken a bunch of very good shots, just unable to get the ball to find the hole there in the hoop. And another shot by Lou Allen driving inside the paint. Just wouldn't go for the Lady Highlanders. But defensively, they have not let down no matter what. The ball to Parent back outside. Roberts will try a long three. It's no good. The rebound taken away by Carnes. They'll try a shot. No good. This time, Zoe Terry controls the board for the Lady Highlanders. Terry tries to force a pass inside. It went off the hands of a Carnes defender, and Carnes controls the basketball. Jeffers was double teamed, so the pass probably was a bad idea. <laughs> Highlanders. 3-2 zone. I don't think I've mentioned that yet because they don't play anything else but a 3-2 zone. The jumper is no good. The rebound and a foul over the back. That was Julie Lou Allen trying to control the rebound. 20. Sounds good to me. Kennedy. Ulysse Kennedy. It's her first team fifth. Jalen Young crosses midcourt. Gives up the ball on the left wing to Lou Allen. She drives, now back outside Young, quickly into Jeffers. She turns inside the foul line, the shot partially blocked. Garrett fights for it, controls it for the Highlanders. Tries to find some way to shoot the ball, cannot. It's tied up inside and the ball will stay with the Lady Highlanders. Now Riley Price makes her second quarter appearance for the Highlanders. Terry back to Price. Price off the right wing, drives in, banks it off the glass. Automatic. Nice substitution, Coach. Right. It's Thank Carnes 11, Lady Highlanders 7. Took about five seconds to shoot and score. But we needed it. And we did indeed. That's our second basket of the second quarter. Three minutes now left in the first half. Carnes has to chase it down nicely. Now she just wildly threw it someplace. Sort of like if you got a shot clock, you know, and you have to throw it up before the shot clock expires. Yeah. Now, Price having trouble with the basketball, shuffles it to Young. She drives some midcourt as she drove around the defender. Looks like number 24. Frederick. Her first a little wave foul. Field. Scoreboard says six. One, three. Would if I could count. <laughs> okay. Young down to Lou Allen, out of the left corner. Her three is no good. Price fall four, got that rebound. Terry wants to drive, kicks it back to Garrett. She'll try three out of the right corner. Shot is no good. The rebound is controlled by Carnes. Then their pass was deflected. Young started that steal. She'll drive in. The driving jumper off the glass is no good, but Jalen Young will shoot a pair of free throws for the Lady Highlanders. Official off his whistle. Number 20, Kennedy. Seventeen foul now against Carnes, but Jalen Young foul in the act of shooting will get two free throws. Highlanders trailing by four points. And the first toss by Jalen is good. It's a three-point deficit, Lady Highlanders. 11 to 8. Carnes with the lead. Jalen can make it a two-point game. Comes up short, the rebound controlled by Carnes. In, pass intercepted by Young. Drives in, lays it off the glass. It's a one-point basketball game now. 
Carnes 11, Lady Highlanders 10. The jumper the other way is no good. Young has the defensive rebound. Takes off down the court. The Highlanders had the yeah. run out to Garrett up the left side. Her layup is good. And Rachel Garrett on the scoreboard to give the Highlanders now a 12 to 11 lead. That was a long assist pass by Jalen Young. Yep, she made the right one. She had them on either side and she made the right decision. The other way, shot is no good. Young back, backside rebound again, even though she took that one out of the air. Now Young this time will drive up the right side and he reach foul on Carnes from the side. 2-0. Wow. I thought it was 11. It's her third. Shooting. T I think one and one. I don't think she was in, in close enough that she was actually going to be awarded two free throws. But Jalen Young back to the line again. The only Lady Highlander to shot free throws in the first half. This one comes up short. The rebound batted around. Controlled by Riley Price. To Young. She'll reset the Highlander offense. Over to Lou Allen. She wants to drive. Kicks it back to Price. Price deep off the right wing. Won't go to Allen. Scott in. She got a good deep offensive rebound for the Highlanders. We save the pass. It comes back outside to Allen. Long jumper off the right wing. No good. And Garrett fighting for the rebound. She draws the foul. Rachel will shoot one and one. Oh, my. That was on number 20 again. I don't know. Right. If it is, it's her fourth. Scoreboard says that, Woody. Okay. Who oh, my. Coach, Coach Haywood is in a pickle now. Coach still going to leave her in there. And Rachel Garrett to shoot. Maybe I not. guess she was fouling the act of shooting, so yeah. she's shooting two foul shots. The first was no good. Lady Highlanders lead 12 to 11. Rachel can extend that lead and does not. The rebound, Riley Price. And they're going to call Riley with a push off to get yeah, possession just, for that rebound. Just a tad. And where the official was at over here, I'm surprised he saw that. <laughs> it was the baseline official closest right. to us instead of the side official, really, who had the better angle. She might have pushed off a quarter of an inch, maybe. Yeah. The ball was lost by Carnes, and then there's another foul. Had to be on Pendergrass. Uh, that's number three on her. We'll walk to the Highlander basket. Going to the line to shoot now two free throws is Carnes. That's their 10th plus foul. So the Lady Highlanders in the double bonus. The rest of the first half, which is 65 seconds. Riley with a basketball. The left-hander puts the shot up, and it's good. 13-11, Lady Highlanders sub in for the Beavers. So you've got Garrett, Terry, Young, Lou Allen, and Zoe Price at the foul line. I'm sorry, Riley Price at the foul line for the Lady Highlanders. Second free throw is no good. Ball's batted up, tipped around. Carnes comes out with it. 60 seconds left in the first half of the girls' game. Driving from the right side, that's Friedrich. The Highlanders get a block on that. And still a basketball. This is Young at midcourt. Lobs it ahead to Lou Allen. Goes inside. Price was posting, and the pass was a little wide of her. She couldn't get to it. But if, the pass, if that pass had been on the mark. Oh, yeah, dude, we had a layup. Good luck, though. Just uh, off just a little bit, but we had a layup. Lady Highlanders 13, Carnes 11, with now 35 seconds to go in the first half. Driving in, Roberts has her pocket picked by Price. Hans will have a chance to set their offense. This is Young going in oh. coast to coast. Man, that was quite a collision there. Be pick, well, careful going and jumping, picking her up because you never know like that. He said number 21. That is Berlin Miller. She just come in. And Jalen Young back to the foul line for the Lady Highlanders. Two free throws. This one is good. 14 to 11, Lady Highlanders. Jalen in that routine. This free throw is no good. Ball's 
batted around. Carnes comes up with it. Oh, Ooh, Jalen. Thank you, God. Yes, she did. Jalen hit the ball in the backcourt, <laughs> and it went off a pairing. It would be Lady Highlander basketball right side, front court, 19 seconds remaining. The ball into Young. She splits the defenders ahead to Garrett. Garrett's jumper off the glass will not go in. The rebound, Carnes. They'll clear it to handle the basketball. This is Friedrich. Gives it up to Perrin. Perrin up the right side. Bounce pass in the right corner. Now back to Perrin. Her soft turnaround jumper is no good. Jalen Young with the ball and will not have enough time to get it to the offensive end. So at halftime, we have reached halftime. And it seemed like it didn't take but just a flash of time to get here. <laughs> the Lady Highlanders trail 9-3 to three at the end of the first quarter. The Lady Highlanders then outscored Carnes, if my math is correct, 11-2 to two in the second quarter to now lead 14-11 to 11 at halftime. Sometimes they're not pretty. We had an awful lot of good shots in the first half. They just would not fall for the Lady Highlanders, <laughs> but they battled back, uh, fell behind uh, one to nothing, then three to nothing. Was They were down nine to three. They got a basket. Then Carnes went up 11-5, and since that point, when Carnes went to 11-5, the Lady Highlanders have outscored them six to nothing. Uh, since that stretch right there. So, I mean, that was just a good performance by the Lady Hunters. They played top-notch defense in the first half, and they've struggled offensively, but I'm a firm believer that we can improve on that in the second half. Oh, yeah. 14-11, to 11, Lady Highlanders lead at halftime. Let's step aside. We'll take an extended break when we come back. Our Lady Highlander halftime. In terms of scoring in the first half, not much for either teams, but in terms of effort and outplaying the other team, the Lady Highlanders would be, I think, way ahead of Carnes. We just couldn't get the shots to go in, even though we have a 14 to 11 lead at halftime. That just shows that neither team burned it up. Um, but for the Lady Highlanders, I'd say we had three times as many offensive shots on goal as Carnes had. Oh yeah, I mean if we just if we just hit 50 percent of our, our shots, we'd be up by 20 right now, easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, if we had just hit 30 percent of those <laughs> shots, we might be up by 20. You know, on that. Uh, let's go ahead before we talk any more about the first half or what the Hounds need to do in the second half. Let's go ahead and look at the first half scoring for the teams. All right, for Carnes, uh, Lady Beavers, uh, Abby Harris has two points, one foul. Reese Roberts has six points, no foul. She has two threes. Uh, Javen Pendergrass has one point, three fouls. Uh, Ulysses Kennedy has no points and four fouls. Uh, Madison Perrin has two points and no fouls. Uh, Bree Nicely has no points and one foul. And uh, Bree Lynn Miller has no points and one foul total of 11. They had uh, two threes in the first half, and they was one out of two from the free throw line. For the Highlanders, uh, Julia Lou Allen has no points, no fouls. Jalen Young has four points. One foul. She is uh, two for five from the free throw line. That's unusual for her. Mm -hmm. uh, Julia Lawson has three points, no fouls. Brittany Morrow has no points, no fouls. Elena Duncan has no points and two fouls. Zoe Terry has two points, no fouls. Rachel Garrett has two points, no fouls. Uh, Bree Jefferson has no points and one foul. Riley Price has three points and one foul. We have one three, and we have three for nine from the free throw line for a total of 14. Well, if we just make 70 or 75 percent of the foul Pedro. shots, just <laughs> just say that we went to and made six of those. I mean, we'd have a an even better lead instead of three points. We'd double that to six points. But you know, this could be one of those games that we come right down to it, where every point matters when we get to that last four minutes of the game. Lady Highlanders, though, defensively, they've had that three-two zone a couple of times when. Uh, Carnes has had to inbound the ball. The Lady Highlanders go to a man-to-man -man on the inbounds play, but jump right back in that 3-2 zone. And we have been very active in that zone. We've yeah. been getting hands in there, knocking the ball away from Carnes. Right. And with those takeaways, quickly getting to the other end. And um, Jalen Young and some others, but particularly Jalen has done a real good job of trying to 
kick the pass inside to open post players. Right. Uh, been very successful at that, and we just haven't scored once we get the ball in there. That's right. I mean, uh, it's good, you know, once they do get the ball and we get the rebound, that's pushing it down because, I mean, we can we can have layups, oh, yeah. and that's what we've yeah. done so far. It just took us a while to get started, so maybe flipping ends on this end of the floor, maybe it'll be better uh, and they can shoot on their side and have the worst sh shoot percentage of the first half as we did. Indeed. Let's go ahead, um, Sam. Let's take another 60-second break right here. From We hear some messages from our sponsors off tonight, Friday night high school basketball, Scott High style. And when we come back, a few more comments on some other things that I've got on my mind right now. So I guess I'll let the other shoe drop. When we come back, Lady Highlanders 14, Carnes 11 at halftime. A couple of uh, things I'm going to address right now. Uh, news along the way. First of all, uh, Fulton head football coach Rob Black resigned uh, yesterday. And uh, gosh, I'll miss Rob over at Fulton. Uh, he's been the head coach for 11 years, won three state championships there at Fulton. And uh, he is their basketball scorekeeper, I think. Scorekeeper, he's not the PA guy, but he's always at the scores table. And for several years now, when I've gone in to Fulton, when we played over there, I've always gone in, sat down, talked to him for long conversations. And uh, yeah. I appreciate Rob, and he's done did a tremendous job there at Fulton. And the other thing that uh, that made news is the uh, Mr. Basketball finalists, the girls and boys finalists, came out uh, this week, uh, actually yesterday, I guess, in uh, girls class 3A Miss Basketball, Sarah Burton at Clinton High School. We played her this year. Uh, we'll probably play her again, as a matter of fact. Mackenzie Cochran from Page and Brooklyn Crouch from uh, Upperman on the boys, 3A Mr. Basketball. One of the uh, semifinalists last year, Jacoby Gillespie at Greenville. Uh, Arico Sane, the second from Jackson Southside, and just Stephen Walker from Fayette Ware. And no Trey Moore, despite uh, what everybody wanted, especially us Highlander fans. You can go to the independentherald.net and you can read all about that as Ben has taken up the uh, mantle sort of for Trey, talking about why he could not be here. And, and uh, coming up later, we'll talk about uh, Jacoby Gillespie and our connection with him as the pass to Harris and coming over the back trying to knock the ball away was Brittany Moore picking up the personal foul. We're just underway, third quarter. Carnes with the first possession. They've got the ball from the right baseline after the foul. Trying to get the ball in, it comes into Harris. Turn, shoots over Duncan, shot no good. Got her own rebound up and scoring, Abby Harris. Harris makes it a one-point game at 14 to 13. Hunter's trying to find their offense in the second half. The pass to Moore from the foul line. Instead, the Highlanders take it back outside over to the Allen. She could not hold on to the pass. It goes out of bounds, so an early turnover by the Lady Highlanders gives the ball back to Carnes. And, I mean, that's one of the few turnovers I think we've had in the game. Yep. And certainly unforced turnovers. We yep. probably had two of those. The jumper nicely shot up. It's no good fighting for the rebound. It's tipped, and Carnes is able to save it. They work it back outside to Roberts. Roberts into Harris. Harris soft turnaround jumper won't go. Moore is there. Brittany has the rebound. Will handle the ball herself for the Lady Highlanders. Throws the break at midcourt. Tosses it ahead to Lawson. Lawson back to Moore. Swing it all the way to the left side to Lou Allen. Back outside Jalen Young. Top of the key. Lobs it in to Moore. Back out to Lou Allen. Her soft three is up. It's no good. Ball is batted. Up. He missed that one, Woody. Yep. Nicely stuck a hand out and deflected the ball, knocked it out of bounds. The official gives the ball, however, to Carnes. Well, I'll take back everything I said in the first half. Okay. <laughs> Underway in the third quarter of play. It's a one-point Highlander lead trying to stop Carnes and regain possession of the basketball. The cutter, that is Harris, drives in, shoots over Mara, shot no good, ball's batted around. Uh, Lou Allen finally controls it for the Lady Highlanders. Brittany 
tries to drive up the right side, tosses it back to Lawson, should have shot the ball instead dribbles back out. Through Allen with it to Lawson. Once again, she passed on the shot. Young lobs it over to Lou Allen. Down in the left corner, this is Morrow with a basketball. Back to Young. Dribbles between two defenders. Running 15-footer is up. Shot was no good. Batted back outside. Jalen has it. Highlanders driving. That's Mora. Her shot partially blocked, and the Highlanders able to save it. Jalen Young down on the baseline. Now Lou Allen, high jumper off the glass is no good. Carnes with a rebound, and we missed about three times my point blank, I'm going to say inside 10 feet. Lou Allen with the block. The ball is on the floor, picked up by Young. Young has Lawson out in front of her. Young uh, expected her to reverse over back to Lawson instead. The three-pointer off the iron, it's no good. Rebound Perrin, Madison Perrin for Carnes. She'll handle the ball all the way to the front court for Carnes. The lob to the foul line, Pendergrass. Pendergrass with four fouls. Shot was no good, and Harris gets it in. She stuck it up and in, yes, and the official says, I'm going to count the basket. So Heron has four points and goes to the line for the plus one. Elena, Zo third. Um, okay. My bad. And Zoe Terry checks in for Duncan, who has the has her third personal foul. Harris for the free throw. This toss up, it's good. So she does convert the three-point play. It's now Carnes leading our Lady Highlanders 16-14. Young lobs it over to Lou Allen, back outside Young. From the top of the key over to Lawson. Julie gives the ball back to Jalen. Jalen looked for Terry at the foul line. Instead, he comes over to Lou Allen. That was shot off the mark. Long rebound, chased down. Jalen Young controls it. Dribbles against two defenders, goes in strong. Looked for the foul. There was nothing there, and Brittany Moore could not save it along the baseline. Carnes leading 16-14, four minutes, 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Highlanders trying to get the basketball back from them. This is Perrin that's Reese Roberts with a running jumper off the right wing. It's now 18-14, and the Highlanders need to score. I can't say it any more pointedly than that. Passing up way too many shots. Lou Allen drives high off the glass. It is no good. Everything that Lou Allen seems to be shooting tonight is too high off the glass. Yeah. The running jumper is no good. The Highlanders then touch the ball as it goes out of bounds, so it will be Karn's ball. Perrin will inbound, sub in. Maybe Pendergrass checking in for Karn's. In the right corner, Perrin, the shot partially blocked, taken out of the air, batted around. The Highlanders have the ball. Looks like Zoe Terry tried to do something with it. The pass deflected. Carnes comes up with it. Soft jumper is no good. Still fighting for the ball. It's on the floor. Carnes falls down. They keep it alive. Everybody up. And Carnes resetting their offense. Perrin off on the right wing to Roberts. Roberts quick pass inside to Harris. The turnaround is no good. And Zoe Terry will pick up the personal foul. She smacked down. That was automatic. Third team foul against the Lady Highlanders in the third quarter. Going back to the line, Abby Harris. She was she made her first one a while ago, and now she makes this one. And her second free throw, it's 19-15. And we've got to be careful. We've let Carnes do all the scoring here in the third quarter as they have picked up an eight to nothing advantage in the third quarter over the Highlanders. I thought Carnes had a sub. I know they had a sub come in, but don't know why, but the officials, I think, are going to take a timeout as both teams will have their players come to the bench. And uh, the way that they were looking at it, it's either perspiration or blood on the court. I mean, if it's that's why I thought blood, but that ain't the way you clean it up. No, you've got to bring out the cleaning kit <laughs> with that solution. She just throwed the towel underneath the bench so anybody could go grab the towel. I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was for. I, I give up. 
Second free throw by Abby Harris. She has made both her previous free throws this quarter. Harris with this shot, that one up, and spun out no good. The rebound, Zoe Terry. It is still Carnes 19, Highlanders 14. Lady Highlanders have not scored in the third quarter. We're down to three and a half minutes to go. The lob over to Terry up off the glass. We miss another shot as we try to bank it off the glass and a foul by the far side official call against the Lady Highlanders. Lou yeah. Allen. Yeah. Sub in for Carnes is Pendergrass. Yep, see, she's got some tape on that right knee, and you were right about the substance on the floor, but that's okay. We're way up here in the balcony. Yep. The pass inside to Harris, deflected, saves it. Back outside, long three is no good. Rebound Morrow for the Lady Highlanders. Brittany wants to handle the ball herself, lobs it ahead to Terry off her hands, then intercepted by Carnes. Long pass ahead, ahead. That's Roberts. Roberts lobs into the middle, and then the ball deflected by the Lady Highlanders out of bounds. Julie Lawson, Jalen Young, Julie Lou Allen, Brittany Mora, and Zoe Terry now on the floor for Coach Wright and the Lady Highlanders. Trying to get the ball in. It's deflected, picked up by Pendergrass. Driving, that's Roberts as she drives. She throws it up, and the official on the near side, yes, gives her credit for the foul. And Roberts will be at the line for... An extra free throw. The foul was on Terry. And the free throw good by Reese Roberts. That three-point play has pushed Carnes out on top of the Lady Highlanders now, 22-14. And Lou Allen is going to be fouled. The reach around by Roberts. I'll wait on the official, I guess. You, you know, 15. I was wrong. 15. Pendergrass. That's four. Well, if Coach Wright knows it, we've got to go after Pendergrass. We've got to go after Kennedy when they're on the floor for Carnes. Jalen Young, the ball comes back outside. Brittany Moore has the jumper blocked. Highlanders are able to save the ball. Now our pass is deflected and intercepted. Two minutes, 25 seconds left third quarter. Carnes with the lead, that's Harris. Spins, banks it off the glass, it won't go. Carnes tries to save it and it went off of Harris as they try to throw the ball back in on the baseline. Jalen Young with the basketball already, pushes quickly into the front court. Over to Lou Allen, her three is up. Off the mark, no good, long rebound. Lou Allen gets it again as she drives in, she draws the foul. The senior will be at the line for two free throws. Perry, and that's her first. Team foul number two. Julie Lou Allen trying to get on the scoreboard for the Lady Highlanders. Cannot. She still has one more free throw remaining. Second toss up. That one is good by Julie Lou Allen. 22-15. Believe it or not, that's the first point the Lady Highlands have scored in the third quarter. Took us almost six minutes. Mm. Well, maybe that'll open the scoring up a little bit. The jumper no good. The rebound, Lawson. Tomorrow, Brittany will reverse, slow it down at midcourt. Over to Young, down in the left corner, Lou Allen. She needs help, gives up the ball to Terry, dribbles in the paint, her pass comes outside, intercepted, stolen, driving Roberts for Carnes, her shot up, and it rolls in her first score of the game. 24-15 now, Carnes. Lady Highlanders have to protect the basketball since we're having such a hard time scoring. We've got to protect the ball. Lou Allen's running jumper is no good. Terry. Goes up over a couple players, gets the ball to Lou Allen, and high off the glass, Julie Lou Allen will pick up the score for the Lady Highlanders, her first field goal. Timeout taken on the floor. It's now 24-17, Carnes over our Lady Highlanders, and we'll join the teams during this break. We'll return in 30 seconds. Welcome back to Lady Highlander basketball. Clock is stopped with one minute, 10 seconds remaining in the third quarter of play. 
The Highlanders have just made their first field goal of the third quarter. We have scored three points in the third quarter, all by Julie Llewellyn. One at the foul line. The field goal just made by Llewellyn. It's a 24-17 lead for Carnes on their home floor. It will be their basketball. Riley Price in in the third period for the Lady Highlanders. Sam caught that right away along with Rachel Garrett. The pass off the right wing is no good. Fighting for the rebound, it looks like Garrett and a Carnes player had it, and the jump ball resulting gives possession to the Lady Highlanders. Riley Price, Zoe Terry, Jalen Young, Rachel Garrett, and freshman Brittany Moore on the court for Coach Wright. The one glaring thing I see, Woody, is Brittany has not scored in the game. After having double figures, I think the last couple of games, maybe uh, her last three games, as a matter of fact, in to Gary and instead back out to Terry off the baseline. Her jumper won't go. Price kept it alive, tries to score, then loses the handle on the basketball as Harris knocked it out of her grip, but it went off of the leg of Zoe Price. 35 seconds remaining third quarter. Long pass. Knocked away by Garrett, saved by Jalen Young. She threw it yeah. off the leg. And good hustle by Jalen Young. Jalen with four points in the game, but right now, based on the overall hustle and defense, she would be my player of the game. Yep. As Mora drives, she's going to be fouled. That'll put Brittany at the line to shoot two. Three, Harris, her second. I'll, I'll agree with you, I guess. I thought he threw up 30, but there's no 30 out there. And Brittany's foul shot is no good. So even when we can get to the line, we're struggling there tonight. A four out of 12. Second try by Brittany. Got a roll on that one to settle into the net. 24 to 18. Six point lead for Carnes. 13 seconds to go. Their long jumper out of the corner is no good. Harris the put back, no good. Zoe Terry the rebound. She needs to explode down the court with five seconds to go. Take it all away, Zoe. The long jumper hit the iron. It's no good. But after three quarters from Carnes High School, the Lady Highlanders have fallen behind 24 to 18. 24 18. We'll step aside. We'll have this message from one of our sponsors, and we'll be back with, I think, an exciting fourth quarter in the girls' game. The Lady Highlanders outscored uh, Carnes in the third quarter 13-4. to four. And actually, the Lady Highlanders just got their first points with in the final two minutes of the third quarter. We went almost six minutes scoreless in the third, Woody. Yep. That's our uh, quarter, first quarter, we scored three points. Third quarter, we scored four points. Wow. We get ready for the final period of play from Carnes High School. It will be Carnes basketball. Zoe Terry, Riley Price, Brittany Mora, Jalen Young, and Rachel Garrett on the court. The entry pass comes into Perrin. Perrin backs to midcourt now, tries to get the ball inside instead of driving down. Giving up the ball was nicely out to Perrin. Her shot is no good. Carnes with the rebound, and this time they got to go up, and I'm pretty sure they knocked the ball away from Terry and Dew. Yes, it'll be Highlander basketball. In the fourth quarter, we need to get offensively in the flow. Good to pick it up here big time. Jalen Young gives it up to Terry. Terry drives down to the right baseline, back outside Young, right wing. Quick pass goes inside. Garrett turns, banks it off the glass. Rachel Garrett with four points in the game now. And Jalen Young forces a foul, an offensive foul out of Carnes as she was down there trying to disrupt everything. And Perrin picks up the foul. Number two. Oh, she got the ball. I wasn't looking. Sam says she got the ball. Lady Howard's nevertheless, I think, shooting one and one at the foul line. Jalen Young, nope, actually shooting two, so she was in the act of shooting. 
Jalen just now two for six at the foul line, Woody. And Jalen makes the second free throw. It is now 24-21. Carnes, they have the three-point lead. They have the basketball. The Highlanders trying to get another stop, and they do. As Garrett blocks the shot out of the corner, and Mara pulls it down. We push the ball front court over to Garrett. Pump fake, drives in, banks it off the glass. Garrett for the last two baskets for the Lady Highlanders. It is a one-point basketball game at 24-23. They're still. And they still, there's Mora driving up as she drives, tries to scoop it up, and Perrin will pick up the foul. That's the, I don't know if I was saying nine fouls a while ago, I was wrong. It was only five team fouls on Carnes. Going to the line, Brittany Mora to shoot a pair of free throws for the Lady Highlanders. First one rolls off the edge, it's no good. It's still a one-point advantage. Carnes, Brittany with her second free throw, can tie the score with six minutes, 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Second toss up, that one is good. 24 all, Highlanders and Lady Beavers. Highlanders in that full court press, and Jalen Young with the steal. Takes it herself, lobs ahead to Terry, running jumper off the glass, good with a little layup there. For Zoe Terry, the assist would be to Jalen Young. The Highlanders lead 26-24. Jalen, I said a while ago, has been quite disruptive the whole game. The jumper no good. Mora has the backside rebound. Clears it out to Jalen Young. She has players out in front. This will be Garrett. Garrett drives in, stops, shoots over the defender. Shot rolls off the iron. It's no good. Garrett fought for and got her own rebound. Forces up a jumper. It's no good. And I think Zoe Terry will be called as over the back. Yeah, it's our third. Lady Highlanders have their first lead of the second half. We actually led starting the third quarter, but Carnes quickly got the lead. Mara tips the ball around. It's picked up. That's Carnes. Roberts driving up. A reversing layup over the off the left glass. Good by Reese Roberts. We're all tied again at 26. This time Terry's jumper no good. Garrett has the rebound, forces a jumper. It won't go, fights for the rebound. Saved by Carnes along the baseline. In the front court, driving again. That's Roberts and the Highlanders get the block. That was Riley Price with the block that time. Young races up the right side, goes strong to the basket, draws the foul. That foul on Perrin. Should be number four. So Carnes with three different players with four personal fouls. Jalen Young back at the foul line for the Lady Islanders. Two free throws. This toss up, no good. It's almost like there's uh, we, we, we're going to have to put change in the backboard up there to get some of these foul shots and or field goal attempts to go. Jalen makes the second of her two free throws. That breaks the tie. It's 27-26. Lady Highlanders by one. The steal, Mora stole the pass in the backcourt. Turns, launches a three. Shot is no good. Harris the rebound for Carnes. Let's see if we can pressure again and take the ball away. Almost. And Roberts across midcourt. And Coach Haywood will take a timeout. So let's join the teams during this break. Five minutes, 16 seconds to go in the girls game. Lady Highlanders 27, Lady Beavers 26. Back at Carnes High School, we're in the fourth quarter in the girls' game. Five minutes, 16 seconds remaining. It's Lady Highlanders 27 and the Carnes Lady Beavers 26. I want to thank you again, all of the sponsors are bringing you high school basketball this season on the i Sports Network. i Sports.net is a place to follow the links so that you can listen as we're doing tonight or you can follow our video replays. This will be a on-demand video replay that you'll be able to watch back over the weekend. We thank those sponsors and we hope that you Patronize the sponsors that support high school basketball. Harris got free, drives in, kicks it high off the glass, and Abby Harris. It's 
scores again to give Carnes the one-point advantage, 28-27. Terry drives, kicks the ball over on the right side to Price, pulls up, shoots the jumper, shot won't go. Terry again with the rebound, shuffles it out to Garrett. The Hunters will reset. That's Mora driving left baseline. Shot is no good. Garrett tries to put the ball back up, but it's blocked out of bounds. Young, inside the foul line, running jumper. Caught a little bit of the glass to go in for Jalen Young. The Hollers on top now, 29-28. Madison Perrin, the basketball. Her pass blocked by Terry, came back to Perrin. She resets. Bounce pass low. The jumper is no good, and Garrett draws the foul. That was on Ulysse Kennedy. She'll go to the line to shoot two free throws. Rachel's first. Against the Lady Highlanders, now our 16th, I'm sorry, 17th foul, and Carnes has six. Ulysse Kennedy shooting the free throws. The first one is good. Carnes hasn't shot many, but they've been percentage wise very good in the second half. Two, four out of five. Yep. Second free throw, now make it five out of six. Good by Kennedy. They have a two point lead. I mean, a one point lead at 30 29. Hunter's having some trouble with the defense. This would be Marr. The floating jumper is no good. Fighting for it, pulled away Carnes. Should have been a jump, maybe. Lead pass is deflected, and the official says it was last touched by Brittany Morrow. Yeah, that's Brittany I might coach. dispute that one. They had layup. She had knocked out of bounds. Carnes will inbounds the basketball right corner. The jumper there is no good. Racing for the ball. Uh, last touch by Jalen Young. Try to throw the ball in, that's Perrin. Does get it in to Roberts, Roberts to Harris. Now ball back outside, three minutes, 45 seconds left in the girls game. Perrin the ball, tosses it over to Roberts, deep on the right wing, drives all the way to the left side. Picks up the dribble into Harris, soft turnaround jumper, Abby Harris. 32-29. Three-point lead for Carnes. Terry, quick pass inside to Morris. She's foul from behind. Getting the block might have been Perrin, but did she draw the foul and only call on 15? 15. Pendergrass. That should be number five. Five. Carnes have been playing for quite a while with three players with four personal fouls. Not all on the floor at the same time. But Pendergrass back in. She is disqualified. And for the Highlanders, Brittany Mora goes back to the foul line to shoot two. The first one is no good. I promise you, folks, the Lady Highlanders are a better free throw shooting than we've seen on display tonight. Second free throw, Britt is good. 32-30, Carnes. They with the basketball. Three minutes, 15 seconds to go. She might have walked with the ball. No call by the officials. Back outside, Roberts at midcourt. Kicks it ahead. That's nicely, nicely. Three is taken out of the air by Price. Clears it to Jalen Young. Jalen will push it. Up the right side. Has a screen. The floating jumper good by Jalen Young. She used the screen that Morris set up for very well. 32 all now, both teams. Roberts. Gives it up to Perrin. Perrin kicks it left to nicely. Bounce pass to Harris at the foul line. Back to Roberts on the wing. She drives in. Might have been partially deflected there. Harris gets the rebound. It's on the floor. Last touch by Harris on the end line. It will be Highlander basketball. For the Lady Highlanders, Brittany Morrow. Riley Price comes out now. Julie Lou Allen in. Zoe Terry. Rachel Garrett and Jalen Young. We're tied at 32. Now two and a half minutes to go in the girls' game. Over on the right wing, this is Terry. She'll drive, kicks it, tried to go cross court. I don't know if it was intended for Mora or Lou Allen, but it's a unforced error and a turnover. 
and the Carnes Beavers will take a timeout. Let's join them during this break. Lady Highlanders 32, Carnes 32. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Welcome back from the Carnes timeout. They had the basketball. Highlanders extend their defense a little bit. Zoe Terry tips the ball. It's saved in bounds, Brittany Morris. So the Highlanders create the turnover, have a chance to take the lead this trip down. Along the baseline, that's Young. Drives into the paint. Floating jumper is no good. Terry again with another rebound to Lou Allen. Lobs it over to Moore. Back down in the right corner. That's Young. Eluded her defender. The running 15-foot jumper is no good. That's Zoe Terry again. Try, she had that offensive rebound. Young saves it. The ball into Terry along the baseline. Now back to Garrett. She'll step back and try the three. It was no good. Perry in the rebound. One minute and 45 seconds to go in the game. We're tied 32 each, and the ball deflected out of bounds. A lively elbow there. <laughs> a little bit of push-off going down through there. but that... Trying to get the ball in. Terry doing a great job. Finally, the pass into Kennedy. Back outside Roberts now. Her lob to the right corner, Perrin. Perrin double team needs help. The Highlanders. Will tip the ball on the pass, and Brittany Moore comes up with it. That was uh, Terry who tipped the ball. Young will push the ball straight ahead now. Kicks over on the right side. Lou Allen, her 16-foot jumper is good. The Highlanders now lead. Coach Wright takes the timeout, and we'll join the team during the break. Lady Highlanders 34, Carnes 32. One minute, 16 seconds to go, and we'll be back with Lady Highlander basketball. Welcome back to Highlander basketball. Coach Jake Wright talk, called the timeout after the Highlanders took the lead 34-32 on a Julie Lou Allen basket. And now he's talking about defense. We have been so good, so aggressive in our half court and full court pressure. We've been able to deflect a lot of Carnes passes. We've had a player right there to catch the ball as we've deflected it. And I think Coach has been well pleased with that. He's extending our defense a little bit where we can pick up at midcourt now as Carnes brings the ball in at the far end line. Zoe Terry is there. Boy, that quickness and that spring that she's got. Yeah. If you try to pass the ball, she can deflect it and has done a bunch of that. Now this is Roberts driving in to block Julie Lou Allen. It'll be the Highlanders. Actually about three on one, and Jalen Young carries the basketball. Couldn't decide. I don't think she wanted to pass the ball over to the left side or contribute, try to dribble into the paint. But nevertheless, it is a Highlander turnover. But, hey, that just gives our defense one more chance to steal or, or get the ball here. The, at the line, it was Harris. They reverse back outside, cross court. The ball is stolen by Brittany Moore. And the officials, I think two of them will call a foul on Brittany. Yeah. For a second. It is also the eighth team foul against the Lady Highlanders, so it should be one in one time. Yeah. As Reese Roberts will go to the line shooting one plus. Roberts, been to the line one time here in the second half, has been able to make that free throw. So she's one for one. Shooting one in the bonus. The first toss is good by Roberts. It's a one-point Lady Highlander lead with 48 seconds to go, 34-33. Roberts with her second free throw. This one up, and yes, got a nice roll on that one. We call that the shooter's touch on that. We're tied at 34 all. No hurry, Lady Highlanders. We've still got 40 seconds to go, and Coach Rice says, yeah, we're going to talk about it. We'll stay right here. 40 seconds to go. Lady Highlanders 34, Carnes 34. We want to thank the guys bringing you coverage tonight. Cameron behind the camera. Ben, our producer director. That's not Ben. It's Sam, our producer director tonight. Uh, Woody's got our stats and analysis, and I'm Rick Keaton with your play by play. As Ben said about me the other night, well, Ben is here, but I think he took the chance to chillax. As he said, I did the other night in the Warburg game at home. So Ben is here being the fan tonight. And I guess a chance to say it with his wife. I've not checked that out, but if he's not, I haven't, I haven't. he's not. No, he's not. We'll have to really jump on him with that because she's over there, isn't she? 
Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is there. Highlander basketball after our timeout. Lou Allen into Zoe Terry. Rachel Garrett, Brittany Moore, and Jalen Young on the floor as Terry drives down. The floater off the baseline is no good. With the rebound, it's cleared out by Carnes. 27 seconds to go. The lead pass is then lost, and oops, Brittany says it was last touched by the Carnes player, and I tend to agree with Brittany that time. Carnes basketball. Right side, front corner. They'll take a timeout. Once again, we'll stay right here. The Highlanders have one more regular season game remaining. That will be this coming Monday night, whatever that might be, the 12th, 13th, 14th, February 14th. That is Valentine's Day, by the way. And that will be at Gibbs High School on the other side of Knoxville, Knox <laughs> County, from where we're at right now at Carnes. That will be in the east side of Knox County. And so they'll be at Carnes to round out the – regular season and I'm not at Carnes they'll be at Gibbs but the most amazing part of that that is the only game during this season that the Highlanders have had to reschedule right. that is quite an accomplishment would it yeah. what they went through and all this again yeah it's uh, it's very good that uh, one make up and I think that was snow yeah boss uh, let's see Rachel Garrett Jalen Young Julie Lou Allen Brittany Morrow and Zoe Terry. Zoe will be over closest to the Carnes player to inbound the basketball. Once again, Zoe, a very explosive, quick jumper, and she might possibly deflect the ball on the inbounds pass. It comes into Roberts. Roberts tries to drive, gives up the ball to Nicely. On the backside, goes in, and the jumper is there, and a foul call by the late, against the Lady Highlanders with 18 seconds to go. Lou Allen picking up the foul. For a second, should be number 10. They've got nine, but we'll take it. Going to the line is, is that Roberts? And the free throw is no good. I can't see the number on the back of her uniform. What? I guess we got 24, looks like. Okay, that would be Friedrich. Yeah. Second free throw is no good. The rebound, Jalen Young. And she is fouled by Friedrich in the backcourt. So Friedrich misses two. And we'll walk to the Lady Highlander end where Jalen Young is there to shoot mm, one plus one. 34-34 with 16 seconds remaining in this girls' contest. Jalen for the lead. Toss up, good. Jalen gets the bonus as her Lady Highlanders lead 35-34. Terry, Lou Allen, Mora, and Garrett also on the floor for Coach Wright. Jalen's second free throw. Up, front iron, no good. Rebound comes down. Pushing it quickly up the court. This is Friedrich. Friedrich into a double team. Back outside to Roberts. Roberts drives in the paint. Her floating jumper is good. Coach Wright trying to get a timeout. He asked for it with over six seconds to go. Roberts, a floating jumper, has given the Carnes Lady Beavers a 36 to 35 lead over the Lady Highlanders. Once again, we'll stay right here. Even though the Highlanders are going to take a full timeout, we'll stay right here and talk about strategy. I saw Coach Wright jumping, 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 trying to get an official's attention with, I know, more than six seconds to go. Yeah. And the officials, I think, discussed that out there a little bit, and they have put 5.5 seconds up on the clock. Coach Wright, we got the ball in. We should be getting the ball on, not hardly at mid-court across the way, I think. Should be over on the side. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, on yeah. that side over there, yeah. Not hardly to midcourt, but I, th I don't think we have to throw it in at the baseline. Five and a half seconds to go. Carnes leading our Lady Highlanders by one, 36 to 35. Coming out for the Highlanders, Morrow, Lou Allen, Garrett, Young, and Terry. Yes, it is, Well, it should be more time on the clock then. It will be 
at the far baseline. The Hollers need to get at least to midcourt to get a good shot off. And maybe if we can get a run out layup, that'd be even better. The ball into Young in the backcourt. She has trouble. Threw the ball behind Moore. It's a turnover. And Carnes will have possession and will inbound the basketball at their baseline. Well, the turnover certainly hurt there. The fact that we had to waste a couple of seconds when we got the ball and could not clear a player to head north-south. Here, that really hurt us there in that aspect. And I admit Young had to come all the way from midcourt down to the baseline to get the entry pass, but I wish he'd have just turned and took off. Yeah, just kept it going. I mean, you know, the odds was, I mean, you're going to get fouled, you're going to run out of bounds, but I'd rather her to do that and still throw the ball yep. backwards. If nothing else, run into that other because Brittany player and see, if and, see if they, and see if they would potentially foul you. We can only audio, we can only audio only tonight. Well, we, we can only do audio tonight. No, video. Oh. no, you'll have to watch it over the weekend on the video because they broadcast over there. I'm talking to Michael Ray back here, folks, if you want to know. It's an audio only live broadcast right now because Carnes has their own streaming video service and we do not have permission to do video. Carnes with the inbounds pass. And well, anyway, Carnes just had to get the ball in, which they did, and they were able to hold it for that 2.2 seconds and pick up a win tonight over the visiting Lady Highlanders at 36-35. We'll tell you all about it when we step aside, especially quite a tremendous quarter that the Lady Highlanders had there in the fourth quarter. We will tell you all about it. But right now we're going to step aside. We'll take an extended commercial break. Let's take three minutes, Sam, if you would, please. And when we come back, we'll have our Lady Highlander postgame wrap-up. Final score. Welcome back to our Lady Highlander postgame show. The Lady Highlanders fall by one point to Carnes tonight, 36-35 to in a game that uh, in the fourth quarter went back and forth. Uh, I, I guess credit to the Lady Highlanders, outscored Carnes 17-12 to in the fourth quarter. And to be honest with you, that is one point shy of what the Lady Highlanders scored in the first three quarters. Right. First quarter we had three, third quarter we had four, so that's that's hard. I mean, you can come back closer than what we had a chance. I mean, we had a chance down here. Uh, I mean, once I read it off, the free throws really, really hurt us on the opportunities to score. I mean, we had shots after shots. We just it's a cold night and it stayed like that. Yeah, I would, I would say I'm gonna have those stats until later tonight. But uh, I would say the Lady Highlanders probably. Shot less than 20% from the field tonight. Yeah. Probably less than 15% if the truth yeah, be known. And uh, we'll sort of go in the numbers, I guess, on Monday night as we prepare for the uh, Gibbs game on Monday night. Now the boys' teams are on the court warming up right here. Carnes did a, a good thing. They awarded one of their basketball players, J.J. Faulkner, uh, I guess a basketball for scoring more than 1,300 points for his, uh, in his career. And also, Deshaun Bishop. I would have thought they would have done this a couple of months ago. Sean, Deshaun Bishop, the Class 5A Mr. Football in the state of Tennessee, and those awards were done the uh, first week in December, and uh, they presented that to him here tonight. Uh, my guess is he already – well, I know he already had the award and stuff, but may not have made a special thing out of it until tonight, the final – I guess home game for Carnes, if not their last game of the regular season. Right. He's a good. I think definitely for 35, I think 3,500 yards. I mean, he's yep. he's just amazing to watch. I mean, I've got to watch him a couple times on TV, but I mean, he's he can play basketball too. Oh yes, he can. He <laughs> certainly can. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you that when we played him a week ago, Bishop had 21 points. He was the leading scorer for Carnes last Friday night. So uh, why don't we go ahead, Woody? Let's look at the end of the game scoring summary for the Lady Highlanders and the Lady Beavers. All right, for Carnes, uh, Abby Harris had 12 points. Reese Robertson had 19 points. 
uh, 13 of them in the second half, and at home uh, she had eight points. Uh, Davon Pendergrass had one. Uh, Ulysses Kennedy had two. And Madison Perry had two. Total of 36. They, in the uh, second half, they had seven out of 10 from the free throw line. They had two threes for the game. That's eight out of 12. For the Highlanders, Julie Lou Allen had five points all in the second half. Jalen Young had 11 points, seven in the second half. She was 5 out of 11 from the free throw line. Uh, Julia Lawson had three. Brittany Morrow had three. She was three out of six in the second half from the free throw line. Elena Duncan played in on score. Zoe Terry had four. Uh, Rachel Garrett had six. And Riley Price had three. And Bree Jeffers had two or two of 35. We had no threes in the second half. We had one for the game. In the second half, we were seven out of 14. From the free throw line for the game, it was 10 out of 23. And since we've got to go to the foul line uh, a little bit more than Carnes did in the second half, uh, they make seven of 10, we make seven of 14. And guess what? If we make two more of those, just two more of those, we would have had enough points for the win tonight. So foul line, not kind to the Highlanders tonight. Certainly the rims here on the two goals at Carnes High School. Not very kind to the Lady Highlanders tonight. Uh, as I said, our shooting percentage not very good. And uh, I was sort of making fun there that the rims were not very good to the Highlanders tonight. We were just off on our shots. Uh, high off the backboard sometimes. Couldn't get some easy inside layup type or gimmies to, to go there. And uh, we did everything else defensively. The Lady Highlanders, you can't play any better when you can hold a 4A school to 36 points. No, definitely, and even down there, that girl shot the last, I mean, the shot there. I mean, we had defense all over. She just went under and, uh, you know, scooped it up and it rolled around and then went in. But, uh, you know, the, the shots, I mean, we just couldn't, easy shots, but no free throws. We missed the first, hit the second one, and when the young down here, she hit the first one and missed the second one. I think that was the only time that we did hit the first shot. We always hit the second one, yeah. but not the first yeah. one. You're exactly right. So, I mean, so we left points definitely uh, off the scoreboard because we couldn't go to the line to do and make both in a one-in-one in one situation. So yeah. that was a big, big thing for the Lady Highlanders tonight. And uh, after having such good scoring the last several nights, but, you know, it is what it is. And we've got one regular season game to go on Monday night at uh, – Gibbs High School. I don't know why I have a hard time thinking about that when I think about Gibbs. But the district tournament for our Highlanders will begin next Thursday night. It seems like that's the 17th. Both games will be at Anderson County High School. It will be both for Highlander teams, the number, C, number two seed going into the District 3A tournament. And they'll take on the number three seed, Halls teams, both the girls and boys teams. And depending upon what we do those two games, depends upon what we, where we play either Monday or Tuesday the following week. So for the Highlanders, uh, still a lot of basketball possibly out there in front of us, but we have to go forth uh, both teams. I'm not just talking about girls now, but both teams. We have to be able to go forth once that district tournament starts and put together best, our, our best basketball effort possible. Yeah, I think the girls' game is at 6, and then the boys' it game is. will follow, follow that. So we urge everybody, you know, if you can't come to Gibbs with us, uh, you know, definitely go to AC. It's a little bit shorter drive, and, uh, you know, just fill the house at AC and show them, you know, well, like we've done all year long. I mean, for the yeah. crowd here and what Carnes has got, I mean, it's – We've got them. It's unreal. There will only be two schools playing in Anderson County on Thursday night. Yeah. You know, the Scott Highlanders, girls and boys, and the Halls, or Red Devils, girls and boys. Yeah. And, I mean, so plenty of seats, and we could put the one of the largest Highlander crowds all year maybe in history in AC, Jim, even though we, let, we did that once before for a boys contest. But we could do a, a real good job of that. Uh, coming up when the district tournament gets underway uh, next Thursday night. Yeah. But right now, why don't we go ahead 
We'll take an extended break, uh, let's say at least two minutes. When we come back, we'll be ready for the boys' starting lineups, and we'll get you set for this matchup between our Scott Highlanders and the Carnes Beavers. <laughs> 